All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Rakakwadash, which is the Paleo Hebrew for the name of the Heavenly Father, being Yahweh, and that of the Son, being Yahweh Shai. The only names in which salvation could be obtained, whether you could receive it or not. I'd like to give double honors to the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone, who through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, rule all of the nation of Israel well today. Once again, whether you could receive that or not, and peace, love, blessings, and salutations be unto the elect of the house of Israel who are pushing this truth in truth and sincerity and in charity and in faith and who are able to receive these things that are needful for salvation, man. All right? And, and you know, ultimately, man, this world we're living in is being uh, filled, all right, covered with, uh, with deceit and filth, man. All right? This is the last kingdom um, that would be prophesied to reign over all the ions that had there a lot of time to rule over the planet Earth, this would be the last kingdom, man. And its wickedness would exceed above and beyond all other nations seen before, man. All right, because this is going to be the greatest victory that we have. Okay, this is going to be the greatest victory seen uh, among men, man. All right, because if you notice, every time judgment comes or every time there's a deliverance to the Israelites, okay, it's, 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 it's over, over the most powerful nation that's in rule at the time. Okay, for an example, uh, uh, there was Pharaoh. Okay, Pharaoh was the, was the walking image of God at the time, man. And now what we have today, all right, which this place is often referred to as Egypt, all right, just like it is Sodom and Gomorrah, just like it is uh, uh, Rome. Okay, Esau has made himself likened unto the Most High. All right, and now it's a common practice, a common teaching, all right, in the schools and everywhere. For it to just be taught that there is no there is no uh, higher power, man. Your higher power is Esau, Edom. All right, and if you do get into uh, you know get into the church or what what have you, you know you're taught that the higher power is still an Edomite. Okay, so this this wicked devil man is gonna be is gonna be overcame. He's gonna be put down and trodden underfoot, as saith the prophecies. But anyway, what had stirred up this lesson, all right, through the spirit and power be held by Shem Yao Shai, all right, was this here, man. This uh. uh this just came out uh, recently. It says, uh, Beto, which this guy's running for president, threatens tax-exempt status of churches if they don't support gay marriage. All right, and as you go down, it says, a Democratic uh, president, uh, presidential hopeful, uh, Beto O'Rourke, says he'd strip churches of tax-exempt status if they don't support same-sex marriage. When the former Texas uh, congressman was asked if religious institutions, colleges, churches, charities should be stripped of tax-exempt status Thursday night by CNN. Anchor uh, Don Lemon during the LGBTQ town hall, he immediately responded yes. So, you know, then they asked the former, uh, you know, the, the, the former, the former uh, guy out there, man, and, and you know, really what, it, what it's leading on to, all right, is you're going to see these churches just follow suit right after it, man. Okay, they're just going to follow suit and, and uh, you know, it's going to be it's going to be a common teaching within all these churches to, uh, to uh, you know, that, that, that you could be accepted as a homosexual within within uh, by 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 the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, and just like you see here, and we're going to get into some scriptures and things, too. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and pull one out before I read this next piece. This is uh. Ecclesiasticus 37 and verse 3. It says, O wicked imagination, whence camest thou in to cover the earth with deceit? Right. So the earth is being and has been covered with deceit, man. All right, let me get one more. This is uh, Isaiah 16 and 2. It reads, For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and grow, grow, uh, gross darkness the people. Right. Darkness is covering the earth, man. All right, and it's, and it's, it's going to be, become a common teaching all right, within these churches that, which they already tell you, you could do whatever you want and be accepted. But, you know, now it's going to be a common teaching that you could be a homosexual as well, man. All right, so this, play, this place is through, man. This place is played out, you know, but, but let me go ahead and read this. This is uh, the requirements. This is just a, a Texas, um, a Texas uh, theology school, all right, theology college. All right, and these are the requirements, basically, that you'll need to overcome and understand and, and, and learn to teach if you wanted to be a, uh, a pastor, okay, if you wanted to graduate within this institute, this is uh, uh, part one. It says, show evidence of saving faith in Christ. 
two are a proven are of proven Christian character. Three, so if you ain't okay with homosexuals, then you you, you ain't, you ain't going to be able to pass this college. You're going to have to go and teach what Esau tells you to teach, man. Showing you that there is no truth within these churches, man. All right, if they they, they ain't, they ain't going to just go tax free. All right, just like just all this that we're reading right here, you have to teach these things, all right, in order to 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 become a licensed uh, uh, pastor or minister, or whatever whatever it might be within this uh, within this um, you know theology school, in, in order to get that get that uh, Salakia, losing my uh, losing my tongue here, um, in order to get that uh, you know that degree, okay, that degree to 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 be a certified teacher. Which, which you never see that happen, you know, with Yahushai, with uh, with the uh, apostles, okay. Matter of fact, the, the, when when they saw the apostles speaking, you know, they marveled and said that they were unlearned men because they didn't see them, you know, with within their synagogues learning and and and, and understanding and teaching what they need to be teaching. They were they 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 were only inspired by the spirit and power of Yahushim Yahushai, man. But anyway, Salaki, like going on, it says, are endowed with appropriate spiritual gifts adhere to the community covenant and the fo uh, and the following doctrines. So you would, you'd need to adhere to these following doctrines, man, in order to, to, to be certified to teach these things, all right, in order to be certified to teach the Bible, okay, and be tax tax exempt, then, then you would need to adhere to these things. And, and you're about to see an eighth one, all right, which is going to be uh, understanding, you know, that uh, uh, homosexual rights or, you know, something along those lines. But uh, part one, it says, or Salaki, not part one. Well, part part one of the uh, you know of, of the adhering to these uh, doctrines. It says the authority and uh, inerrancy of Scripture, the Trinity. So you need to understand and believe that the Trinity was 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 real. All right, which we know you know there's many examples of the Trinity being a false thing. Okay, but you know we don't want to want to go off topic. But let's continue and 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 see what else it has. It says uh, Christ's full deity and humanity. The spiritual lotness of the human race, Christ's uh, substitutionary, uh, so like yes, sub substitutionary atonement and bodily resurrection, salvation by faith alone in Christ alone. So really, you really you you kind of already see it here, man. Salvation in faith alone in Christ alone. Where's the works, man? You see, in the book in the book of James, it was said that uh, you know faith is dead. Uh, being alone without works, so you gotta you gotta have both, man. All right, and and part of those works would be repenting. All right, putting off that old man, the things that you may have been doing. If you're a homosexual man, you're gonna be put to death. All right, unless the Most High brings you out of that. Okay. But anyway, going on, it says, uh, part seven, the physical return of Christ. Okay, so you so these are the things that you need to adhere to and understand in order to 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 teach the Bible, man and be tax exempt and now they're adding this you got to support gay marriage as well so you see this this place is just getting worse and worse man as every day goes on there's another another little article too um <clears throat> says uh america's richest 400 families now pay a lower tax rate than the middle class so you see everything everything is 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 you know just getting worse out here man all right uh there 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 there's this, this whole ecosystem all right, whole economy structure is is for is for the elites, man, for the rich. Okay, especially with Trump being in office, because you know he has he has those those big pockets, man. He's you know making it so these taxes will no longer uh, affect them as they have in the past. All right, but you know anyway, just kind of just kind of pulling that out, you know, through the spirit as well. But let's go ahead and let's get into some scriptures, man. So lock you. I'm gonna push that. <clears throat> All right, now this is finishing that verse uh, two. It says, "But Yahweh shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee." And that's what's beginning to happen, man. That's what's beginning to happen. Is 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 the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua is being written, risen. All right, and the elect are being sealed, man. The elect are are learning and understanding. All right, who they are and proclaiming this truth, man. Proclaiming the the while you're seeing all this wickedness and and false doctrine, what have you be 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 pushed on all levels. When you're at Salaki, when you're seeing this, this, uh, you know, this wickedness and, and, and everything exceeding the way it is, all right, you see the elect raising up and this, and this truth flourishing, all right, which ultimately is going to lead to the salvation of, of Israel and ultimately the, the, 
the salvation of the planet Earth, man. Because at the end of the day, all right, through the elect of the house of Israel, the whole planet Earth is going to be reestablished in order. Okay, the whole planet Earth will be will be in its proper balance. Which, when the Earth was created, all right, everything everything was created the perfect way in order for everything to work properly. All right, but Esau has been put in charge, and this is what he's done. He made everything for the elites. Okay, and 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 now has perverted our blessing, man. Our blessing, which is which is which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, which is this doctrine. All right, and and. At the end of the day, man, it, it, it is what it is, all right? What's written is what's written, and that's what we're going to teach, and that's what we're going to follow, all right? So anybody, you know, who's being deceived by these people, the, the, the answer is they've just been blinded. Blinded to the point where they can't even pick it up and read for themselves to see what is right or what is wrong. This is Isaiah 29 and 16. Surely the turning of, uh, your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say... Of him that made it, he made me not. Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding. So you see, they're rising up and they're trying to, uh, they're trying to, to 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 make the heavenly Father be, you know, be how, however they want him to be. All right, make him a puppet and 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 have him uh, adhere to any of their moves, put him in their pocket, and 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 justify whatever wickedness they're doing by simply saying that, you know, he's okay with it, all right? And at the same time, what do you see? You're turning the things upside down. Who's done this, man? Who's in rulership right now? Go ahead and grab Job. This is the book of Job, 9 and 24. It reads, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, right? The wicked have, have, have received the planet earth. It says, he covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Right? He covered the faces of the true judges over the planet Earth. All right. And who is it, man? Who who is the man that's done these works? Who is it who's in charge right now? Is it the so-called uh, uh, East African? All right. The so-called Chinese. Who is in rulership? Because whoever it is has turned everything upside down. And 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 not only. Not only have they done so to, to fill their own pockets, but, the, but they've, they've taken everything from everyone, man. Even their own people. Even these lower base Edomites are being oppressed by, by, their, by, their, own, by their own elites, man. All right, let me turn off my notifications real quick. It's lucky, man. Um, let's go ahead and jump, jump here to the next one. This is, uh, actually, I'm going to hold this Isaiah 5 real quick. I'm going to hit this, uh, Matthew 22 and 17. It says, Tell us, therefore, what thinkest thou? Is it lawful to give tribute unto Caesar or not? Right, which is the taxes. Okay, so, so meanwhile, while you have these churches today that are tax-exempt because they teach whatever the wicked who the earth has been given into their hands tell them to teach, you had Yahweh Shai and his men, all right, were actually having to pay taxes. You see? So they weren't they weren't tax exempt. They weren't tax free. They had to pay taxes, man. Alright, verse 18, it says uh, verse 18, but Yahweh Shai perceived their wickedness and said, Why tempt ye me, ye hypocrites? Because what they were looking for was for Yahweh Shai to say, No, we don't pay no taxes. And what would have happened? They would they Esau would have put their hands on them, man. Alright, just like if you had one of those churches were to say, Oh, well, we're not teaching that, and we ain't paying taxes either. Yeah, we're going to see real quick uh, when they get hit with that tax evasion, uh, when the, uh, Esau kick in their doors, man. All right, or us for that matter. We're like, if, you know, if we're like, oh man, this ain't our kingdom. Let's max out all these credit cards, not pay anything back, and, 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 and not pay any taxes. Esau is going to throw you in jail, man. All right, anyway, it says, verse 19, Show me the tribute money, and they brought him unto him a penny. And he saith unto them, Whose is this image and subscription? Right, who's that picture of? All right, whose subscription is it on that money? All right, is it Yahweh Shai? Is it, is it an Israelite in any way, shape, or form? Verse 20, 21. They say unto him, Caesar's. Then saith he unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and unto Yahweh the things which are Yahweh's. And they that had heard these words 
they marveled and left him and went their way, right? They wondered. They didn't know what to say. But you see, the thing is, man, is, is you know, we got we got to just, we, we got to stay in our lane, all right? And, and, and anything that you have in the flesh, man, was given to you anyway by Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, just like the things that we have in the spirit, okay? So just maintain, maintain, but, 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 but concentrate on this truth, man. Okay, if you've been given a certain job or whatever the case might be in the flesh, a house, whatever it might be, man. All right, these things were given to you to be able to, 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 to push the truth in the way that you've been blessed to do so, man. Okay, to maximize your potential as a warrior of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. So you just got to maintain, pay your taxes, and, and do what you got to do, man. But at the end of the day, you're going to see all these churches going to follow suit, man. Which, it, it, you know, if time even goes on to that point, you know, Trump, Trump might, not even, might not even allow anybody to take him out of office. You know, who, who, well, all we know, man, is, is that, you know, this place, this place is through. Right, we're going to see further prophecies and things come out. But, you know, when I saw this, it stirred me up, you know, made me feel some type of way, man. So the wickedness here is just beyond all wickedness. All right. Which, you know, it's funny because the, the church and state are supposed to be totally separate. I mean, that's what America was founded on, man. All right. Because you had you had men that were running from persecution. All right. Because of their beliefs in Europe. And so they they came over here to the Americas and they destroyed the Native American Indians. All right. Who were who are the tribe of Gad, the Israelites. All right. And the tribe of Reuben. All right. They destroyed them. All right. And then the and, you know, really the rest of the northern kingdom in order to take their land. And in order to believe what they wanted to believe, they called them the Puritans. Okay, and that's why you see, actually, if you look up the history, all right, of America's laws, Christmas was illegal for a time, and it's because they knew and they understood that Christmas was not biblical. Okay. But anyway, with that being said, man, that's that's that it it, it was founded on you being able to have the right, all right, to 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 believe and to teach whatever it is that you believe. Okay, so now everything, all of that's changing, man. All of it's changing, and it just shows that this place is dying, man. America is through, and it's and it's and it's close to its destruction, man. All right, and that's why you see all these things ramping up in the Middle East, the stuff that's going on now with Turkey. Okay, and they're trying to impeach Donald Trump. All these things are signs of the times, man. All right, but anyway, let's go ahead and jump onto the next uh, precept here. The last one. Um, this is Isaiah 5 and 20. Woe unto him, or to them that call evil good. Right. What would that be? Homosexuality. All right. Eating swine's flesh. Whatever the case might be. Is if, if, if we've been told not to do so by these scriptures, we're going to teach and we're going we're, we're to not, not do so to the best of our ability, man. Okay. And that's the thing. To the best of your ability. People like to mention what had happened with Yahweh Shai and uh, uh, Mary Magdalene, all right, when they were getting ready to put her to death for being a whore. But yet Yahweh Shai told them, he without sin cast the first stone, and they all put their stones down. And what did he tell that woman after that? Did he tell her, go ahead and go do whatever you want, continue being a whore? And, and as long as you believe in me, you're forgiven? No, he told her, go and sin no more. If she would have went and, and, and began to be a harlot again, then that judgment would have came. But you see, that was a symbol of the time of grace that we're in now. But since we're in the time of grace, they think it's okay to do whatever they want, man. We're here to tell you that that's not the case, man. That is not the case. Grace is set there for you to be able to repent, for Mary Magdalene to be able to have repented. Otherwise, she would have been put to death. If there wasn't Yahweh Shai and it was only specifically the law, they were just doing what was right by the law. But you see, through Yahweh Shai, you have a time of forgiveness, man. All right? That's what he was here for. All right, it's, it's common sense, man. He didn't come to let you, allow you to do whatever the hell you wanted and then yet say that, that you believe in the Most High. You see, that paints a bad image. Biggest hypocrites on the planet Earth are found within the, within the Christian church, man. All right. Anyway, going on, it says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. They've turned everything upside down. What does it say? Surely your turning of, of, of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. The Most High is the potter that created the clay, man. All you are is the clay. 
You have nothing to be proud about. Esau is only in charge because he's been given that for a time. You see, the Most High could have given it to, to, to Moab. He could have given it to the Chinese. See, but every, every, every nation has had its allotted time to rule. All right, and those are all part of the prophecies as well. All right, that you would have Greece ruling, you would have Rome ruling, you would have the Persians ruling. All right, and, 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 and eventually the, the end all be all would be, would be America. All right, your last, your last ruler, your last ion over the planet Earth. And you see Russia thinks they're going to take it, man. But, but, the, the, but through the prophecies, the next one that's going to be, and you see, those were prophecies. Those were written before those, all those different nations ruled. I mean, America definitely didn't exist at the, at the time of Daniel. Okay, so we know and we believe these prophecies, man. And if it says that the nation of Israel is the next rule, the nation of Israel is the next rule, man. And, and, and those turning of things upside down are going to be set right back, right back in order. Verse 21. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes. Right, wise in their own eyes. But you ain't wise in the eyes of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, man. It might be a wise thing for, for you to think that this might be okay or that might be okay. But what did the law say, man? All right, what, what, what did Yahweh say, man? What did, the, what did the, the, the potter say to the pots? You see? Verse 22. Uh, continuing, it says, And prudent in their own sight. Verse 22. Woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine, and men of strength to mingle strong drink. Right, being being caught up in, in caught up in your uh, 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 what's what's it, in, in, into these distractions, man. All right, there, there there is a reason why they put all these liquor stores in your neighborhoods, man. There is a reason why they legalized and decriminalized, uh, uh, you know, all these different all these different uh, you know, drugs as far as you know weed and as far as um, pills and you know all these different things that they have because they put them there to simplify you, man. To simplify you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Here it, here it is, we conquered you, and now we're giving you these things to, to alter your mind and to make you okay with just being a simple pawn on a chessboard. But you see, this is our chessboard, man. This is our chessboard. Okay? And Yahweh is the player. And we are the chief pieces, man. The nations don't even get to be a pawn, really. All right, but anyway, what went on? It says, verse 23, which justify the wicked for reward. So, you know, a lot of you get caught up in, into, into all these different bread and circuses that Esau puts before you in verse 23, which justify the wicked for reward. All right, justify the wicked, given, given the wicked a reward, man. And what, what, what would that be for, for this example of this lesson? That would be the homosexuals, man. You guys could do whatever you want. But, 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 but this is, but, but, and, and everybody has to follow suit. It says, and take away the righteousness of the, of the uh, righteous from him. Right. And take away the righteousness from the righteous of him. That's what they're doing, man. Taking away, taking away the, the, the righteousness from this place. They're not, they're not telling you, Hey, if they, if you're standing in front of a bus and somebody screams at you to get the hell out the way, then you're going to, you're, you're going to be glad that you, that, that he did that. You see, but if he just watches you get hit by the bus when he could have told you or say, you know, what, it's OK, that bus should stop for you. Well, when you when that bus hits you, man, and reality sinks in, just like when when these thermonuclear missiles come. All right. And reality sinks in. You should have realized that you should have listened to us, man. You shouldn't have listened to what Esau told you. All right. The same man that's providing you with all this, all this liquor and what have you, man. OK, which, you know, there's nothing wrong, you know, if you want to have a you know, sip of wine from time to time or whatever the case might be, you know, but just, just, you know, do these things in moderation, man, because we know what time it is. You don't want to get caught up into, you know, getting fucked up every night. All right. Getting fucked up throughout the day. All right. We want to concentrate on, on ultimately receiving this crown, man. All right. Cause, cause this place is wicked, man, but we got to We got to just maintain. All right. Well, what did it say in the book of revelations? Let the wicked be wicked still. All right. Oh, might be vexing. I know we even had at camp a while ago, some dude came up and we weren't even saying anything to him. We weren't even saying anything about homosexuals. But this guy came up and he said, what do you think about homosexuals screaming at us? You know, so the brother said, hey, you know, well, you know, they're going to get destroyed, man. If they continue in that in that wickedness and the most high don't bring him out of it, they're going to get destroyed. 
all right? According to the scriptures, not because I felt like telling you you're going to get destroyed, but according to the scriptures. And the dude got up, kicked the sign, started screaming, I'm a homosexual and this and that, and telling people that, that we were screaming, telling, like trying to stir people up to come against us. And he, he went to go lay hands on the brother, and the brother, the, brother, the, the brother had defended himself and, you know, grabbed him and, you know, just a little, little frail Edomite, you know, just kind of killed over. And then he started, you know, the brother, you know, let him go. And, the, you know, he started screaming, you know, to call the cops because, you know, he'd just been, uh, you know, he's been, uh, um, what's, what's the word, uh, you know, struck or whatever for, uh, you know, a hate crime. And, you know, luckily we had everything on camera. And, you know, even, even the people around, they started coming up and they were witnessing on our behalf. You know, they were witnessing on our behalf and, you know, saying that, uh, um, you know, that that guy started everything. You see, because they saw it, man. They saw it. All right. But, but you know, this, this is the part of the vexing, uh, the vexation of this place, man. All right. Because if that brother Wood had, you know, laid hands on him and defended himself in the way that he did and we didn't have things on camera and they called the police, guess what, man? We all would have probably got arrested. All right, but that's why we do things decently and in order. All right, that's why that's why we, we, we you got to be wise as a serpent yet harmless as a dove, man. Um, going on verse twenty-four. Therefore, as the fire devoureth the stubble, and the flame consumeth the chaff, so their root shall be as rottenness, and their blossom shall go up as the dust, because they have cast away the law of Yahweh armies and despise the word of the holy one of israel there you go man so the end all be all man is you know if, if you don't repent and get right during this time of grace then you're going to die the death of the heathen man we're willing to be edifying unto the elect this place is waxing worse and worse but 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 this truth is going to prevail man we already got the win all right now we just got to watch these prophecies unfold and maintain what we have and, and, and concentrate on maximizing ourselves within, the, within this ministry, man, within this truth, within this doctrine, within the spirit and power of Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai, man. Shalom.